Hi, welcome to another uh, video podcast, video blog from Dave Holland at Results for All's OK. And again, uh, this week, pleasure this week. Uh, my, my guest today will explain much better than I can who he is and what he's doing. Uh, but we connected um, about a month ago, I think, let's say a month ago, through the Founder Institute out of Luxembourg, who do amazing work. So my guest today is uh, Mr. Usman Toure, and he's got a fabulous story to tell. And I'm not going to, I'm going to get the pronunciation of your business wrong. Please, what is your company? Let us know what your company is, so I don't get it wrong for everybody. Um, thank, thanks, David. Um, the company name is Fireneer. So Fine. you just think of the word pioneer, but um, using the word phi, the, the, the sign, the sign, that symbol phi. So Fireneers. Yeah. Fireneer. Fire okay, I understand better now. It's just down to me. So welcome uh, to, to the conversation. Um, I know you've got a fabulous uh, story, fabulous project. So for people listening, please uh, brace yourselves. But just for everybody listening, just explain who are you? What do you, what do, you do? How did you arrive to this point? A bit of background would be, would be great, I think, as well. Okay, thanks. Yeah, so I'm um the best way to, to describe it is i'm first generation british so my parents are from the gambia in west africa yeah um at the age of 10 they we went back to live in the gambia i stayed there for um i think it was seven or eight years went through high school and stuff uh -huh. the beauty of it was i got to like experience life in the developing parts of the world and you know um staying in our big family my grandma's house was like a big family compound and you know really um learn more about sharing and and and, and appreciating things that we take for granted here like um reliable power you know electricity yeah. and and stuff and access to things like even watching a tv um you know so there's, there's a lot of things and um you know clothing and shelter and and so many things that we take for granted so um it was a great experience and because i always like um construction yeah. um engineering and construction um i came back to the uk and went to college to study construction and civil engineering you know mm -hmm. went through uni studied civil engineering and stuff and then i began to think um you know how can i actually give back or help the you know not only gambia but the developing parts of the world what mm -hmm. can i do to help and i mean i'm not a millionaire i don't you know i can't just go give everyone a million pounds or something so sure. um the smartest way was to use engineering mm -hmm. and architecture which i like as well i'm not an architect but i, I love architecture yeah um to solve the problems that they face every day and the, the first one that came to mind was housing because I remember um, there's a, a period of I think the six or seven months when there's heavy rain in the rainy season mm -hmm. and those who can't afford to build you know resilient strong cement block homes yeah. they lose their homes because it's you know it's made of other materials and they can't afford so sure. people go homeless you know during that period and imagine just you know in the middle of the night just the house just goes boom you lose everything it's raining heavily you've got nowhere to so, go. so what, but generally how do they survive then they're homeless they have no shelter where, where do they go what happens to these uh, to these people um there's one thing there is this tradition or culture of sharing so yeah. they go to the neighbor or someone else and but you know it's yeah. an inconvenience because it's not your space it's absolutely yeah knocking on someone's door at 1am saying, you know, I just lost my house. And um, personally, um, I, I remember some phone calls that would come, you know, bringing my dad relatives in early in the morning saying, we lost our home last night, you know. Mm. So it's, it's a personal thing. So um, yeah, so we are developing mm -hmm. um, low cost eco friendly housing solutions mm -hmm. for people living in poverty. Yeah. Um, to provide homes simply where they can find more comfort and um, share greater memories with their families. That's what we're doing. Okay, no, absolutely. And, and so th th this is a big, to go from that environment where, you know, shelter is being literally to washed away, it's not a, a good enough construction, to what is a, uh, uh, what 
over here in, in, in France, where I am in London, where a proper house, if you like, that's a big leap. That's a huge move forwards. How's the, what, what approach did you take to bring that to, to, to life? So we, we, I, I've also been, you know, a big fan of ancient architecture and not maybe ancient, but, you know, before cement was being shipped from country to country, people right. were living in something. There was a way that they survived using materials that were readily available where they were. Sure. And this is one of the issues with um, climate change and stuff, you know, carbon emissions and mm -hmm. production of cement, which is responsible for, I think it's 40 or, don't quote, you know, 40% no, it's, a, or it's of, a huge amount. You're absolutely that huge right. amount, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, you know, if people go back to using what's available, mm -hmm. it helps with the climate issue as well, the, the environmental issue okay. as well. So it's a win-win situation. Okay. So we will look at what's available there, you mm -hmm. know, something you could just get from your backyard or a few miles away or something yeah. and use it to build a home that's strong okay. enough to, okay. you know, withstand the rain and everything else. So it's just... Um, it's local materials, but with modern technology and engineering. Right. Okay. And that's what brings up the whole. So, so who designed this? You said you, you're not specifically an architect as such. Who designed this? Because presumably, a, a sort of, I'm, I'm assuming now, have a sort of reasonably similar design that has to have different you know, flexibility around available materials that uh, you can sort of get from the local area. Who did the design of these properties for you? Um, so, you know, uh, uh, you know, when they say, um, if you, you've got this passion or this vision and you put it out there, yes. um, the energy comes back. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I met, you know, was talking to people, you know, I have this dream. And then I met this really nice um, architectural graduate based in Denmark then. Okay. Um, and she was like, wow, you know, this is, I want to thank. So, yeah, so she kindly designed the the, the first model, um, and also she studied sustainability. So, okay, you know, master. So it made sense. And then we got to the point where okay, we have a we have this model of what we think would work. Mm -hmm. The next thing is the materials, the proving that this will be strong enough and it's got the strength. And we need to do a workshop and find a lab. And and then I found I came across this. Um, grant the sustainable sustainable innovation grant okay. funded by the eu so i applied and you know we got funding for wow. <laughs> working with a university in london um, where they provide you know material engineers and professors and stuff and we work together to do research and it's nearly finished actually so Fantastic. so those things just fell into place as i you know carried on the journey of just wanting to build these homes. I think it's, I think it's generally, I, I know when we we only connected, I think it was over one of the, everything's on blooming Zoom these days, isn't it? We were on a call and uh, I was struck, but by all the presentations, for those who don't know the Founder Institute, it's really a, a, a startup a pitching training development um, uh, program for, for new entrepreneurs. And and you're, you you struck me as both, both personally and professionally, I thought there was something there. And when you said there, you know, I, I have, I've got this dream. It's amazing what happens when you say I've got a dream and you're committed to it and amazing things can happen amazing people show up it's just uh, the way it goes I can't explain it but it just happens that way so 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 yeah. good for you good for yeah you. yeah I, I even forgot to mention the founder institute I um you know joined because I knew that this idea needs to be you know tested and you know drilled and changed and you know I need advice from people who've done it before who yeah. done you know startups and pitched and you know, I met you through there and there's, you know, so many cool mentors and yeah. connections. We even found a, a partnership with one of the founders in the same cohort. Fantastic. Well. Oh, isn't, that, isn't that amazing? It's great, isn't it? The thing is, and Jeremy, between you, between you and I and those people listening, the Founder Institute and startups, I see so many people and they come with, a, they've got an app and this app is going to help people find the perfect sandwich or the perfect, yeah. and it's like, Really? Uh, whereas, <laughs> just a personal view, whereas when you, when you said your pitch, it was like, this is the situation, this is what, this is the, this, the, this, the, the opportunity we have, this is how we're going to affect people's lives, you know, and I thought, this is a lot more than just finding the coolest 
you know, sandwich you can get for lunch, you know? So that's what attracted me to what you're doing. I think it's amazing the work that you're doing and, and, and it genuinely is. Um, so, so you've got this, okay, so we've got, we've got a, a product, we've got a design done, we've got all the products and materials there. So it, this is gonna be taken to construct a, a, this property and then are the people then going to buy the property? Will they rent it from you? How does that, how does it financially work? Because I guess these people aren't earning uh, a huge amount of, of money, certainly not in maybe sort of European terms at least. Very, very good question. Um, to, to throw a few figures around uh, the average home that you could buy or build in across Africa yeah. is $42,000. That's the cost. Right. Now, considering that there's 85% of 1.3 billion people earning under $3 a day, wow. it's impossible for them to, Yeah. it's like there's a big gap. So you've got the very extremely rich people, the 15%, and then you've got everyone else who can't. Right. In, in, in West Africa, um, in Gambia, I think from research, it's about 20K for the lowest you could find, you know, with, and, and, you know, it's because they're using cement and they have to, you know, cement's expensive. Sure. So they can't sell it for cheap because the building cost is, is expensive. So, and they want to make, so we are targeting charging something extremely lower than mm -hmm. that 20K, okay. but it will still be challenging. So if, let's say if it was 5,000, yeah. it will still be hard for the person earning $3 a day to come up with that cash Absolutely. I mean, I think that that's sort of level. Where... When you mentioned this before, I know there's, there's numbers you were mentioning on your, when we sort of spoke before, and it's almost sort of incomprehensible based on where, when we look around ourselves here for like, you know, $3 a day mm -hmm. to, 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 to live and, and buy property on that. I mean, it's just, it seems impossible. This is, but this mm -hmm. is the challenge that you, you face is making that dream a reality for people. So, but it's, mm -hmm. so you can, you can put a property there for, let's say sort of five thousand dollars is that the sort of target area to get to if you say yeah it's it's sort of we're playing around under 10 you yes, know yes okay okay um under 10 and you know making sure that um you know it's driving employment as well because that money will go back to the local community because sure. they'll be building yeah and it will still be if you compare that to three dollars against maybe three four k worth of labor it's you know, it's a lot. Absolutely, so, yeah, no, indeed, indeed. And and the, the the power of the impact would be with the volume of orders that we make. Yeah. You know, we you know if we're making one dollar or whatever, if we you know, but the demand is so high, yeah. this problem's bigger than me or you or anyone else. So sure. anyone else who wants to to do the same thing. This is not competition. This is, no, this is like <laughs> collaboration. Collab collaboration like, on a grand scale. Build, whatever you want, we can. You know, let's work together. Let's build as many as we can. But um, yeah, so that this is where um, there are some traditional groups where they save money together, and you know, they could buy, let's say, ten for the first ten members, and we've got go mm -hmm. you know local government support and um companies their corporate social responsibility and stuff because 5k for or 5 or 6k for a company worth billions of pounds is, is nothing sure or a philanthropist who decides he wants to invest 10 not invest but donate 15k towards the cause yes he might be housing three people or two people yeah. who will be living more comfortably and it's like a you know it's a goodwill Absolutely, yes, yes. I, the, there's there's no. But I mean, presumably the the the, the potential here. I mean, the, the 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 need. How many? I mean, it's, it's limitless. I would I would think. How many houses could be necessary? Tens of thousands, millions. So what we've done is we said so. There's 413 million people living in poverty, and there's an average of eight people per household. Yeah, that's another. Thing. Compared to Europe, it's 2.3. Yes per household so you yeah. also have eight nine people living in a very small space because sure. that's what they can afford so dividing that we came to 52 million people so that's assuming that those eight people have one head head yeah. of the household and that one person would be the person who'd buy the property so 52 million people in africa basically 
God, my goodness. So that's, that's what you call a pretty big market to go for, isn't it? Or not yeah. exactly. Mar market's the wrong word, I think. Yeah. Calls, calls. Sorry. I mean, In this case, yeah. It's not talking a about markets. And it's, not, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cause. But it's, so basically, it's, it's, it's limitless, isn't it? Because you know, yeah. you've got to be able to sort of catch up on that as you go along. So, so yeah. you go to a particular area. And what about the, the sort of cost of the land? Where does the, who pays for that? Where do you get the land from? Okay, so that's another thing, and um, and we're we're um we're because there are land allocations that happen, you know, yeah. for for certain projects, and one of the reasons why one thing that would help us keep the cost down mm -hmm. is the cost of having land sure. for cheaper or in some cases for free. Yeah, and I don't think any mayor, president, or minister, you know, government minister or local council chairman would um would refuse um their people the right of living in affordable homes absolutely um by not donating a piece of land you know or making it easier for us to get access sure. to that land because okay. that's what it will be for a big settlement you know the homes the lifestyle you know the bigger vision is the lifestyle the yeah. energy the water the waste management you know everything ties into sustainability and Sure. eco villages and all that stuff so um it's a win-win for any government or any you know who wants to get involved with us because it's solving many different issues at the same time so so do you see this as being where you have a, a, a dev, i'll call it a development and you're going to build if effectively a new town if you like or a new village where it's not just a single property it's going to be a number of properties but in within that I, again I'm just thinking aloud now. I assume you can look at sort of healthcare facilities, educational facilities, things that may those may not be readily available in the, given the current lifestyles as well. So this is a really transformational, you know, social uh, yes. not experiment, a social shift for people. Yep, yep exactly. Yeah, because once you have the settlement and you've got the school, yeah, it attracts teachers. You know, you've got the hospital, the clinic. It attracts nurses and doctors. Yeah. Um, you've got maybe some, you know, little factories here and there. Um, it attracts people to work. So they're living, it's an ecosystem that's driven, you know, by, you know, the way people live, the management systems there, mm -hmm. the solar power maybe would need maintenance. The people who live there could be employed to do that. It's water stuff. And so it's, there's so many different benefits. And uh, one of the partnerships we've built is well you saw that pitch the the the, the ants in the rainforest absolutely yes yes yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. much, yeah. so the, you know the his his area is has an abundance of trees yes those trees are good material for building so his people working on that ant project yeah. you know the ants produce protein for the you know and they've got fish ants yeah. pesticides the trees homes now as right. well okay i mean but this is this that was another fabulous project wasn't it this, this, this yeah. not, it isn't i'm not that doesn't mention there's no i'm going to mention any other other project but it's not the best the best sandwich for your five pounds fabulous but these are where you're going to find these collaborations because with the sound of it what you what you need because you, you you're not entering this with a, a huge bank balance we've got very you know people who are um, very you know, poor, poor people that want this lifestyle, and the money's just not there. So we've got to look for collaborations and partnerships and alliances to to kickstart it. I would have thought for you. Mm -hmm. Of course, of course, and 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 also like even with other things like um when we get to the point where we're thinking of power or yeah. water purification or waste management, yeah. we're not going to design the solutions ourselves. Mm -hmm. There's so many startups out there with. Um, amazing technology and we're looking for yeah. them to actually collaborate right okay so th but this group you need then i mean you, 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 what you're doing is fabulous but you're going to need people to come and you know build the the, the, the schools the solar panels the, the the waste systems the power the the road systems all this sort of thing and as you say there must be so many startups out there with a similar vision and dream and uh, th that aren't the, the 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 corporate people if mm -hmm. you like yeah they don't want those mm -hmm. sort of people around um that would actually collaborate and make this vision come true of course yeah we hope we're hoping to meet um 
you know, if we, we, we meet so far, everything's falling into place. We're meeting people, yeah. they're connecting us with other people. And it's like, you know, it's just so I'm thankful. It's, it's, a, it's an exciting um, <laughs> journey. So, so what is that you mentioned that you have a you, you have a dream what what is the dream what 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 is your dream vision for this um going forwards where, where how far will you take it um i you know i mean short term it would be great for me to stand in front of a, a whole village yeah full of these homes seeing how people actually moved in and their kids running around and there's you know the transport systems and the, everything's working yeah. Um, you know, long term, I'd like to be, you know, have a big map in my home with different, you know, the global map with yeah. different pins on different <laughs> areas where we've got these, you know, <laughs> yeah, these it, 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 cities it, it, or villages, towns, towns, or, towns everywhere. Yeah. And, you know, just seeing how it's because it's a market that's untapped. And yeah. in many cases, there are there then I don't think they're being served. Mm. You know, most of the things that end up with them are expensive commodities that continue to drain them. And, you know, yeah. So this is a project that is, um, you know, and I'm sure there are others as well, but sure. that is looking to just help them improve the quality of life for Absolutely. them. Yeah. And that's the, the, that's the vision, of, that's the mission of Fine is improve yeah. the quality of life for all. Fantastic. So, so anybody watching, listening to this, what and what is a, a compelling story? Who, who would you like to pick up the phone or send you an email? What sort of people are you looking for to to sort of help and collaborate and and support you on this uh, this journey? So, um, we, you know, we're at a point where we have, you know, we know what we need to do. We know that there are many pieces to the to the puzzle. Yeah. Anyone who is interested in just learning about the project or who is interested in helping in one way or another, because as the startup grows, yeah. um, it, you know, naturally needs things done. Like, you know, you have the finance stuff and marketing and growth and innovation and research, yeah. engineering, architecture. So, you know, funding money. <laughs> Yes. So, <laughs> so basically, you want somebody with a checkbook. Is that right? You want some checkbook to send some. Well, so first, anyone with a checkbook gets the first, um, you know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and, and people with technology that we're, you know, uh, I've met people with other technologies, but maybe their solutions are a bit more expensive yeah. than our target. So maybe when we get to a point where we'll be offering maybe for the middle class as well. Yes. Because in a city, you need like the, you know, low medium and then the luxury so we might sure. you know so anyone with technology that um helps with power water anything that's needed in a home furniture windows doors toilets whatever you know we and it's and the key thing is it has to be um eco-friendly you know yes. yeah. it has to be eco-friendly it has to be sustainable and stuff but as long as it is we are open to talking Okay, well, there, there must be people. There must be people listening, watching. They're going to either they can help or they know people that can help. Yes. Um, and they can find. They can find. How, how can people find you? What's the easiest way of finding you, uh, Usman? Um, I'm on LinkedIn. Yeah. Um, uh, full name um, O U S M A N. I'd, I'd say Oscar Uniform Sierra Mike Alpha November surname Tango Oscar Uniform Rambo Alpha Yankee. Got it. Um, in Instagram, S I M P L O U S. That's the handle. Yeah. And Fireneers is on, I think, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter as well. Uh, yeah. P H I O N W E R S. So anywhere you could just send us a message or send me a message on linkedin or I can find you. Um, i'll so put your contact I'm, details below this video when it's circulating yeah, anyway yeah, that and that sort of thing um, and if anybody if anybody can't find you they can probably find me if they find you, me yeah. i'll point them to you that, that's all absolutely uh -huh. that's all absolutely fine we'll do that anyway yeah <laughs> um, and it's been, and i think it just it is interesting to see who's going to you know come along to give this assistance because it is such a, you know, a compelling 
um, story. And I think when when you did your your, your pitch at the uh, the Founder Institute, I think I said I sensed uh, a backstory here a little bit because and 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 the story you've told, absolutely, you've got a personal storyboard, family, and investment of time and, and life in this as well. Um, when you look at the the the, the housing you're producing, I mean, how many? What what stage are you at so far? How many are sort of built or under construction or how far is the project actually underway right now? So we we are at the stage where we've narrowed down the solution to one. Yeah. So we're just doing the strength testing now because, okay. um, you know, we need to be sure that it will actually be strong. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, and thanks to the university, you know, we've got the labs and everything to make sure we've done the right testing. We've, you know, we've got the right people mm. to make sure we've got the right strength. So as soon as we're finished and hopefully in the next few weeks we should be done, um, we would look to start building the first 10. Wow. Okay. So, yes, you're going to start. So, yeah, you've got the location sorted out. Yeah. Okay. And where, where yeah. will they be? Can you say, can you share where they will be? What's the location? Um, they'll be built in the Gambia. Um, yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> they'll be built in the Gambia. <laughs> if I said the name of the area, people would be like, oh, sorry. Yeah. But it's yeah, the Gambia. The, that, that, the it's, Gambia. Still, it's a big place. I know where the Gambia is. I, I sort of know it on the map. So, that's absolutely fine. Yeah. So, yeah. that's where we'll be. But, um, you know, you never know. Like, at the rate at which we were being uh, contacted or the c collaborations, we could also be, um, and the plan was just Gambia first, start there, yeah. get everything done. But with the, the other collaboration we have now, we could be kicking off in another continent, actually. As well. My so, goodness, okay. C can you keep yeah, there or, or not yet? <laughs> Huh? Yeah, can you can you say where that could be or not yet? Are you sort of sworn to secrecy? Um, yeah, I, I yeah because I have we've got some stuff to, to talk about. That's and fine. Stuff, so, don't, don't but I, I'd say Asia. Asia, Asia. Okay, that, that 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 that's still a pretty big place to go for. Asia, but, but, yeah, yeah. But I but I would assume. I mean, I think the the if, I suppose if unfortunately the need for what you're doing is is not just limited to Africa, is it? it, it there's a yeah. lot of need for this and yeah, this sort of yeah. di di disproportionate split of incomes and lifestyles. And you know, we see we we sit here in the West. I'm sat in the middle of rural France. And, you know, we see the images, it doesn't really, you know, slap us around the face enough, but you've obviously you know, experienced it and seen it. This is a global uh, opportunity to make a huge difference, isn't it? That, you know, we all should be you know, concerned about and involved with at some level. So I think it's yeah. an amazing, amazing project. So so when will you start to, or, or target, start at least digging the sort of the foundations? When will you start construction, do you think? Uh, we're hoping to dig this year. Um, we we're, we're once we're done with the research um there's a few emails i need to send out um hopefully if everything goes well fingers crossed yeah. um this year we'll get uh you know we'll start with those 10 the the my you know the the, the priority now is to get those 10 done yeah prove that it works you know get sure. them on the ground get people in there living there yeah. um and then yeah I mean, you're going to have a waiting list. Uh, you, know, you have a list as long as you're on. Now, this is the, the, the demand. There's no challenge with demand in this project, I don't think. <laughs> okay, so so we want people, is anybody that can help, we want people who can support you. We want people who want to, as you say, not so much invest, but to, to, to gift or grant or give you the money you need to get this thing moving. Um, is there is there sort of a... a a website a web presence where people can have a look and find more information or is that we're not quite at that stage yet um we have a we Fioneers has a website actually okay so fioneers.com okay perfect. and this project has a page which i need to update and that's another thing of you know the life of a startup a founder with so many things to do yeah um i'm doing the website by myself and the, everything so it's kind of like oh, I need to do this, and yeah, I need to do that. So, the the web it's just got more information coming soon. Sure. All okay. oh, right. Okay. So, what is it? Just is it is it built on is it on WordPress the website? Uh used Wix. Wix. Okay. I, I mean, my, one of my guys can probably do that. So, we'll talk offline, but we we can we'll get the website sorted out for you. How about that? We get one uh, of my, my, my lads. He's, he's uh, he does our website. It's my son John, and this oh. is a fabulous project. And I'm pretty sure he's okay with Wix. 
I'll get him to, and he go, you, know, you tell him what you want and he'll, he'll put it in there for you, this sort of thing. We'll, yeah. Nice, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll sort it out. Yeah, my goodness, we can do that sort of thing. And uh, I want to see some pictures and images as well and that sort of thing. But, but again, you know, I think the, the, the network that we have is very, very broad. We're, you know, all over the world and international, um, in, not in some sort of glitzy way, but generally we've got a lot of people over the world. And I'm going to spread this video around to them and hopefully someone will pop up and go, this is something they want to be interested in because you know, I'm certainly interested. Um, and so let's see if we can get some, some people to contribute and support as you go along, but um, fabulous. Well, look, it's been, a, it's been a joy speaking with you. And how, how's the weather in London right now? Is it pretty good, bright and sunny, or is it really bad, cold and wintry? It's, it's not cold, but it's raining, you know, gloomy. Or the sun comes out for two minutes and goes back in come back again so it's very like mixed but because we're all home um you know it doesn't make any difference really. you know exactly this is it <laughs> so so this whilst you're doing this or this fabulous project do, do, do you have a, a day job is this a, a use for splitting your time now in typical startup mode as well yeah i have a day job and the the the, the life of a, a founder um I use after work and before. So I get up way earlier than everyone else. Yeah, yeah. And then I go to bed later than everyone else. But I do have a... So I'm a portfolio manager now. Okay. okay. Um, so I've got experience in, you know, project management, managing big infrastructure projects sure. and stuff and engineering integration. So it yeah. ties in well with this project as well because it's similar. Absolutely. And is, is, is part of the, just, just me thinking aloud, is the way forward for this for you to become a sort of a, a charity status at all or, or not? Was that, would that help or hinder or how would that work? Mm, I, I don't know. I mean, we're, we're at this stage. Um, I'm thinking a for-profit, um, yeah. for-profit uh, company. Yeah. Cause you could still, you know, it's still a good cause, a very good cause, oh, but then absolutely. you could still, um, you know, because they're still, you know, the grant that we had, for example, they're supporting for-profit companies, but yes, okay. the the idea or the project has to be um, uh, related to sustainable innovation, for example. Sure. Yeah. Because it's a win-win for the world, and you know, it's something that. Absolutely. So I think that's 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 the that's the route so far that we're yeah. looking to 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 take. Okay, it all sounds very exciting, but this is it is quite sort of early. Well, not early stages. You've done a heck of a lot of work so far. So, mm -hmm. congratulations for that. Uh, what, what do you do in your spare time? I suppose you just sleep in your spare time. Do you? That's it for now for the life of an entrepreneur like this. Uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I try as much as I can to spend time with my family. I've yeah. got a young family, so. Oh, you've got a young uh, family as well. So you've got oh, my goodness. This is. You've got a lot on your plate. A lot on your plate. Yeah, you? I have my my um. We have a two-year-old. Wow. So your partner so must be very, very understanding. Him. I would suggest. Um. Yeah. I mean, you know, that's where waking up early helps because, like, <laughs> you know, before they get up, I'm up, get everything done, and then so. But so far, it's you know, it's 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 working. I'm 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 surviving. So. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> but you clearly, man. I, 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 yeah, again, this is a passion of yours. You're you're enjoying this. I sense. Yeah, that's the thing. If if it wasn't for the passion, this is very very tough. It would yeah. it would be, and that's where you know these situations. People go in with an idea, and then they end up stopping or pivoting or you know pausing. Yeah. But because of the passion, I'm. You know, it's fun. I'm enjoying this Absolutely. hectic, whatever you call it, yeah. <laughs> but, but I think but it shows through. And again, I go back to this, you know, the best chicken sandwich app or something like that. If there's no passion, but that's a, you're just a throwaway thing. You're going to do something else yeah. you're not careful. Yeah. This for you, and, and rightly so, and for, for everybody, is a real passionate you know, you know, project. Um, so if you were advising as you've been through this uh, sort of process to do, we're still going through the process. There are people out there want to, they're working in a company, got a young family they want to start their own business so they've got a cause they want to be associated with that seems to be so maybe far out of reach how would you advise them what would you say how do they get started but either to collaborate with you or they've got their own thing what, what, what would you advise them to do and how to go about it I think the, the the key thing is the key to becoming successful in that startup or that idea is you need it, it helps if you have a personal connection with the problem yeah 
either a personal connection or you know based on experience or or knowledge or qualifications or capabilities um and that gives you an extra edge where everyone else would give up you'd carry on yeah and yeah. know exactly what you want to do because along the way some people might say oh no nah, no nah, you know this is not going to work uh, and you have to be a bit stubborn and say no nope. <laughs> yeah. i don't want blue i want red yeah absolutely <laughs> so there's some you know you listen to mentors as well because they have yeah. advice but there's some areas where you have to be very stubborn and say no nope, this so you know know exactly what you want take your time talk to people maybe try some try it you know because i've tried other things before yeah. based on problems and they didn't work and it led me to this sure sure so you know just and then when you get there and you know you've got it and have it validated that's why i went through the at the founder institute and stuff because sure. you're talking to people you've just met saying i want to build this and if it's not a good idea they'll be very honest with you and say hmm yeah you know if it's like you know an app you could say what well, every there's millions of apps out there so <laughs> i'm not i'm not going to pick on the chicken sandwich app anymore but but you yeah. you do the one, you know, so <laughs> you, you know so it's yeah so just be sure you know exactly what you want to do it's yeah. clear you're connected with you're really ready because you know it's not easy it's not going to be easy there will Absolutely. be things you need to do and sleepless nights and early mornings and yeah. weekends don't exist anymore but the you know the vision is this is the end goal this is going to happen and yeah. find time make time for family as well you know yeah you have to I mean, you have to keep that that balance whatever you do as well i guess but and also i think and this is just again i know we spoke to offline before we started this conversation as well but what i found and i think you finding as well when you set your course with this sort of passion and you you you, you, just, you go for it you just go for it without really knowing exactly how you're going to do it people turn up the mm -hmm. people show up that are going mm -hmm. to help you and guide you. Is that is that your experience as well? These were people have popped up when they needed of to. Of course, the energy. The, yeah. yeah, I'll give you an example. This sustainable innovation grant. Mm -hmm. I was up at two a.m. searching, and I found it. So if I was sleeping, then the research part of this project would not have happened. Wow. wow. Two a.m. Dedication to the cause. Dedication to the cause, isn't it? It's just one of the, but it's infectious. It, it is your your energy, your drive, and the, 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 you know, the idea itself. It's infectious. You will attract, and you are attracting um, you know, great people to your great ideas. And I think hopefully not just from this, you know, our, our conversation, but other conversations you have, people are going to see what you do, and the journey you're on, and the difference you're making, and they're going to go, I want to be part of that. I do want to be part yeah. of that, and they yeah. will reach out. And it's going to be a great success. So, uh, well, look, we'll I'll get John to contact you about doing some work on the website. That just we can we can help with that. It's one of the few things we can probably do from middle of middle of France for you. Um, anybody listening, watching this, who wants to get in touch with you, Osman, obviously they'll find you on LinkedIn. If they come to me or the link below here, they'll connect you and contact you. At least say hello. You know, reach out, and say hello would be great. Um, so, yeah. thank you for your time. It's been a joy. I, this is why I enjoy doing what I do so much. Um, and uh, it's been, we're connected anyway. We'll have other conversations as we of go course, along. Of course, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Thanks, thank thanks you. It's been, a, it's been a real treat. Hey, it's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure. Um, for everybody else, please, yeah, please connect with Usman and say hello and see how you can help. I'll be back in next week, couple of weeks' time with somebody. We're going to struggle to top this one. You know, this is a fabulous idea. Uh, you, this is it's like the, the the cool wall on Top Gear. You know, this is up <laughs> there in terms of of, of projects uh, and causes are, are fabulous. So really, do thank. Thank you. Um, we'll sign off from here. I'll see you on other calls as we go along. Everybody else, I'll see you on other things that we do. Um, but for now, have a great week. Thank you for your time. And uh, we'll see you real soon. Bye for now. Thank you.